This video is brought to you by EA Creator Network. Thanks to EA for providing me to this early access code for the stuff pack. Hello guys, this is Abi, aka Only Abi Doang, and today I'm gonna be showing you all 27 crystal powers introduced in The Sims 4 Crystal Creation Stuff Pack, a brand new stuff pack that will launch on the 29th of February. This pack introduces a new activity and skill called Gemology, which can be improved by using the new Gemology table. With this, your sims can now create different kinds of jewelries by combining a metal and a crystal into the jewelry design of your choice. You can also create gemstone cuts by using crystals as well. You can now buy common and uncommon crystals as an ingredient for jewelry and gemstone crafting, but rare crystals can only be used if you have them in your inventory. As you raise your gemology skill, you will unlock new jewelry designs and gemstone cuts, craft jewelries and gemstones faster, and get more crystal and metals from digging these crystal rocks. Once you've created a jewelry or cut gemstone, they can then be charged to activate its power by using this moonlight crystal grid. If you place them, it'll start to charge when it's nighttime, and the charging speed depends on the current moon phase. Full moon will charge them the fastest, while new moon will charge the slowest. Additionally, you can also go to the hidden world of Forgotten Grotto or Sylvan Glade where you can charge at any time. Once they're done charging, their charge will last for around 2 days since it's activated and you need to recharge them again if they run out. Jewelries will be activated when a sim wears them, while gemstone will start to lose their charge right after they finish charging because the power will be spread to every sims close by if you place them in the world. You can also wear multiple charged jewelries as long as they don't take the same accessory slot. You can even wear multiple rings at once. Anyway, there are a total of 27 crystals in a game, 20 from the base game, 4 from other packs, and 3 new ones introduced in this stuff pack, and I'm gonna be showing you guys each of their powers. Let's take a look at them. Alabaster will make angry, embarrassed, sad, and scared moodlets that the same is having disappear faster. Citrine will make it so that sims will randomly find a small amount of simoleons when doing things around the house like doing chores, taking care of needs, etc. Emerald will make your sim be more successful when introduced with school or career chance cards. Succeeding these chance cards will increase their school or career performance. Orange Topaz will make your sim gain creative skills such as writing, painting, musical instruments, etc. faster. They will also be more likely to create masterpieces, won't get a writer's block when writing, and won't burn out when doing creative activities. Peach will make your sim get an increased relationship gain with family members. It'll also make angry moodless your sims have expire faster. Quartz will give your sims double the satisfaction points when completing wants or aspirations. Rose will fill up your social need and prevent it from decaying. It'll also make your sim move on from a recent breakup faster. Ruby will make embarrassed moodlets disappear faster. Additionally, the sim won't get uncomfortable romantic interactions anymore and their woohoo will always be successful with no awkward outcomes. Sapphire will make sims build up mental skills like logic, video gaming, programming, etc. faster. They also won't be easily burned out when practicing these mental skills. Turquoise will increase your sim's charisma skill gain and also increase the success chance for friendly interactions. Amethyst will increase your sim's energy need gain when sleeping. There's also a chance they will wake up with this lucid dream inspired moodlet. Diamond will make sims not develop relationship fears. They will also have less romantic relationship decay with other sims and will always succeed when attempting to apologize in bed. Fire Opal will make sims perform better when doing romantic interactions. It'll also make the dates they're having always be successful. Hematite will make your sim immune to all types of deaths, so whenever they experience one, they will immediately be resurrected. Except for death by old age though, because they will still age normally. Simonite will make sims gain work or school performance faster. Additionally, they will also complete homework quicker. Shinolite will make sims extra fertile, therefore they will be more likely to give birth to twins or triplets. 
Jad will make it so that Sims will always succeed when pleading for someone's life when they're dying. You can also use the jewelry or gemstone to summon Grim Reaper at will by directly clicking on them. So now, no more killing Sims just to complete that one grilled cheese aspiration goal. Keep in mind that after summoning the Grim Reaper, your gem charge will immediately be drained so you need to charge it up again from scratch. What the? Jonquilist? 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 Ah, uh, whatever. Jonquilist will fill up your sim's fun need and prevent it from decaying. It'll also make 10 smoothlets your sim have disappear faster. Plumbite will make all of the sim's needs increase slowly over time even if they're not doing anything. It'll also make other sims around the wearer get this happy moodlet. Rainbows will make it so that sims will be less likely to develop fears. They will also get the benefit of the brave reward trait that you can buy from the reward store where they won't be as easily frightened, can be near supernatural beings without getting scared, and their confident moodlets will last twice as long. Crandestine, a crystal from the Get to Work expansion pack, will make the targeted sim be easier to convince and more likely to lend money. This gem is best given as a gift to others rather than being worn by your sims as they will immediately wear it after that. Nightlight, another crystal from Get to Work, will make your sim's energy need decay slightly slower. Additionally, if your sim is an alien, after using an alien power, it will recharge a bit faster once depleted so you can use another power again. Amazonite, a crystal from Jungle Adventure Game Pack, will make sims who are taking a vacation in Selva Dorada excavate and unearth rarer and more valuable artifacts from archaeological dig sites. Alexandrite, another crystal from Jungle Adventure, will make your sims wants, you know, these things right here, refresh much more often. Jade, a crystal from this new stuff pack, will make your sim randomly find crystals when doing things around the house, like taking out the trash, cleaning, and other household activities. Moonstone, another crystal from this stuff pack, will make board moodlets your sim have disappear faster. Besides that, it's also beneficial to occults from other packs. Vampires will have slower thirst decay, spellcasters will be more successful when casting spells and brewing potions, and werewolves will have their fury meter built up slower and when in rampage, it will subside faster. And finally, Ember, another crystal from this pack, will make sims not start a fire when cooking and prevent your sim from failing on performing a range of interactions. Additionally, if you have season expansion pack, it will also make the weather to always be sunny once it's active. So those are all the unique crystal powers that you can make in the Sims 4 Crystal Creation Stuff Pack. Some of these abilities are pretty handy and overpowered even, but in my opinion, I still think that most of them felt a bit underwhelming since it's just a simple boost or buff. There are some that I find pretty cool though, like the ability to summon Grim Reaper, prevent deaths, change the weather to sunny and maybe some others. But yeah, even though I find some of them underwhelming, most of them are still useful regardless. I also appreciate some of the cross pack features these crystals provide. There is also a new aspiration in this pack where if you complete it, will give your sim the attuned reward trait. This trait makes worn jewelries lose charge slower and lets your sim absorb charged jewelries or gemstones to replenish their energy need. Additionally, there's this special seed gemstone cut that can be planted where it will grow into a crystal tree and have the crystals as the fruits. Oh, and there's this one last feature where you can use a custom ring that you've crafted as an engagement ring to propose to someone. Anyway, what do you think of these features? Let me know in the comments down below. Thank you so much guys for watching this video. I hope that you liked the video and if you do and want more, be sure to subscribe to the channel. See you later!